The instructions aren't very clear. It's literally four pictures and I have to build this, this whole thing. Looking up the picture on Amazon because this isn't helping me. We had to buy her a new cat tree because she tore hers up a couple days ago. So that came and I, I had to build it. So I wanted to keep the theme of talking about what I use to record and stuff that I've found that helps me record things going. So I figured I would tell you about a instrument that's not super expensive, but I use it all the time. And since it's Christmas, it kind of fits the time of year too. So today I wanted to talk to you about a instrument that I use frequently-ish. And since it being near Christmas, I feel like it was, it was fitting to, to talk about this. Sleigh bells. I'm gonna talk to you about my per my personal favorite sleigh bells. They they record really easily and they're not super super tinny. There's actually like a good amount of mid range to them, which is why I personally like them. And on my laptop right here, if we go over here, I have a session pulled up I recorded a couple weeks ago, and I actually use these sleigh bells for the Christmas little vibe. So here is all the drum parts with the sleigh bells in. You get the point. Sleigh bells just played one small part but the nice thing about using these is they're very, very seasonal specific. And by that, I mean, if you throw sleigh bells on something, people automatically think, oh, Christmas. And that was the goal with this because this was a Christmas song, so you need sleigh bells. But, like I said, the cool thing about these is they're very mid-range heavy, so they're not like tinny and annoying, and I think they sound a little bit more rounded and sit in the mix better. better. Um, if I solo just the, the bells out, which is this channel right here, there's no EQ, nothing on it. Just straight from the microphone to the interface to this DAW. So like you can hear, like they're not like super, super tinny and there's a good amount of body to them. So they really stand, they stand out, but they also blend in really well, which is why I ended up buying them. Actually a funny story about these, I was at a studio recording some stuff and these were in the percussion bucket. And I just figured, you know, why not? I'll just, I'll give them a shot. Ended up playing them for a couple of, couple of takes and loved them. Like I loved them to the point where I went to Amazon and searched these and bought some while I was in the studio. 
And you can pick some of these up. I think they're like 30 bucks on Amazon. It's like I typed in sleigh bells, instrument, scroll down and scroll down and there they are right there 28 bucks for these guys so they're not super expensive but I think they sound really really good especially for the price that you pay for them so again one more time here's the sleigh bells and then I'll put the rest of the drums in and see listen to how they sit really well in the mix They're just really, really pleasing to listen to. And like I said, this, there's, these aren't mixed at all. This is just whatever I sent to the producer. But even with the stuff not being mixed or anything like that, they still sit really well because they have that mid-range presence that a lot of sleigh bells don't have, which make these really cool and why I use them on a lot of stuff. Like even like non-Christmas tunes, I'll put these on snare drums, I'll put them on bass drums, hit the drum and let them like do their thing and it adds a really cool element to um, the recording if I'm trying to spice it up. I'll put the link to these down below. Um, yeah, if you have 30 bucks, I recommend getting them.